my people na the same place we did so hmm, still on still oh femi fala na say nigerians know that tinubu was not the winner of the february 25th 2023 election but i'm not surprised by the supreme court judge who refused to show up on friday now the judge supposed to talk for court say we say na tinubu tinubu day qualify to contest so, or to become president or not. What did the judge do? He do like Porsche's pilot. Now he not come court. He not come. And on Monday be the inauguration. And we know say powers that be once this inauguration carried out as soon as possible. There are issues already ongoing in the country and everybody they wonder say where yeah, we do what did they happen no how did you do make, 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 for inside the matter? As we did talk right now, so the thing will be the same thing. Now. As we did talk, so it's serious. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians know that Tinubu was not the winner. But I'm not surprised that the Supreme Court judge who was supposed to declare a verdict did not come to court. Falana. According to, according to the Vanguard newspaper, Femi Falana, Nigerian leading human rights lawyer and senior advocate to San, told Nigerians, he said, in no way, so is no way surprised that the Supreme Court ruling, which paved way for the president elect swearing in Ashiwa Juanot Bola Tinubu of the ruling of Progressive Congress on Monday, on May the 29th, the way it went. However, in a statement made by Felana on Saturday, which says all Nigerians know and are aware that the mandate does not belong to Bola Metinubu, I will never be surprised if a court declares him victorious or a judge refused to show up in court. We know what is going on. Felana explained this in an exclusive interview with our correspondent on Saturday. Recall that the Supreme Court, in a unanimous decision by five-man member panel, dismissed all unfounded and appealed by the opposition by the opposition People Democratic Party to ch challenge Tinubu's eligibility to run for the February 25th presidential election. It found that the appeal note, that the court number is there, has been lodged in bad faith and stressed that PDP whose candidate, Halaji Atiku Abubakar, came second in the presidential campaign, was deprived of legal standing, legal rights, to challenge a nomination by another political party. PDP, in its appeal, had asked the court to annul Tinubu's candidacy, claiming that the vice presidential candidate, Senator Kashim Shatima, had voted for more than one chance ahead of the 2023 general election. The court was told that Shatima had been nominated twice, both as the Burnu Central Senatorial seat and for the position of the vice president. But when speaking about the development, Falana noted that he was not surprised since he knew the federal and apparent court had dismissed the lawsuit and the legal luminary said that Supreme Court merely upheld the substitutional judgment of two courts. Falana said, under the current electoral regime, everyone knows, everyone who has been cleared by INEC and received their certificate of return must be sworn in by May the 29th. That's the law. We know what's going on. So, Nafemi Falana and I don't talk, say, we say, May we just uh, let the sleeping dog, may we allow her to lie down, or make it sleep, make it lie down. We say because no need to fight, fight to say because we go wait till after all the court judgments don't come on board. He said, because what we they see right now, we say, hmm, whether you get case and the case is as black as white and everybody knows the difference, nobody wants to move, they are just ready to all just leave it that way and pretend that they are not aware of what's going on. They are very much, you know, 
they, they, it feels very much like they want to, uh, they are very much ready to uphold the judgment for a particular individual for whatever reason it may stand or they may be with. And so it is important that Nigerians, as much as we try our hardest best possible, we pray for this nation. Praying for the nation is not just, um, you know, just gain saying or just wish washing. No, while we are acting, we are also actively praying for the nation. The nation needs help. There are men and women who have genuine sincere hearts to want to contribute their quota. But are they being given the opportunity? I beg your pardon to say the answer is no. We know those who can come on board and help to strengthen and put structure in place. Have we given them that opportunity? I will answer again. The answer is no. Even when it's the case is glary before our very own face, what do we do? We turn a blind eye and pretend like we're not aware. So it is a case of how do we sort this out? What are the ways around it? What can we do differently to ensure that our country enjoy the benefit of good governance? We need good government in place because at the end of the day, by the time it's all done and dusted, what's going to be the resultant effect on every single person on the nation? Buhari came, we saw how the nation is. Are the roads done? Are the roads done? No. They went and they brought refurbished planes. Yeah, they went and brought refurbished planes for us. We all know that. For Buhari to boast, and it's not even Nigerians. Let's even leave that for another matter. So there is all kinds of things going on. And the truth of the matter is, we cannot be quiet, pretend that all is going well because of what some people think. It is important to begin to iron out some of these things and begin to ensure we are putting things in place. The days upon us are so glary. It's so clear that Nigeria really does need this, you know, this, this, this new day, news dawn of a new day, so that truly, sincerely, we can come out of the current, you know, dispensation and ease this nation of the stress. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.